Hello and welcome to Cornerstones of Math. In this video, we are going to solve the following problem. For fx given as ax squared plus bx plus c, when a, b, and c are integers, we have to prove that if both f0 and f1 are odd, then the equation fx equals 0 cannot have an integer root. Right, so by this given condition, f0, which is c, is odd, and f1, which is a plus b plus c, is also odd. Now, for this part, we are going to take the famous proof by contradiction approach. Suppose there exists an integer root alpha for the given equation, then since this alpha is an integer root, alpha can be either even or odd. So we divide cases like this. So the first case, when alpha is even, then we can write alpha as 2n for some integer n. Then f alpha can be expressed as a alpha square plus b alpha plus c, which is a 2n square plus b 2n plus c, which is 4an square plus 2bn plus c. And if we take out 2, we have 2an square plus bn plus c. So this part is even, but since c is given as f0 and therefore odd, this part is odd, which makes f alpha also being odd. Thus, it cannot be 0. But since we let alpha as an integer root of the equation fx equals 0, we have contradiction. For the next case, when alpha is odd, we can write alpha as 2n plus 1 for some integer n. Then f alpha is given as a alpha square, so a 2n plus 1 square plus b alpha, so b 2n plus 1, then plus c. And if we expand this, now here, let's take out 2 again, then these terms give 2an square plus 2an plus bn. Then for the remaining terms, we have a plus b plus c. Now this part is even, but due to the condition that f1, which is a plus b plus c being odd, this part is odd. Therefore, f alpha is also odd here and thus cannot be zero. Hence, we have another contradiction. Therefore, under given conditions, fx equals zero cannot have an integer root. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe for various interesting math problems. And I will see you in another video.